PC DVD, Two Brothers Alphabetical Journey Through Our DVD Collection That is Tired and Ready to Go Back. I'm Josh. <laughs> I'm Noah. And today we're talking about Wagons East. Hmm? You know, 1994 Western comedy. Yeah, and John Candy's last film. It's his last filming film, which is weird to say that way, but it, it's not the last one to be released into theaters. Oh, there's one after? There's one after it. What's oh, after? Oh, I was going to save it as an Easter egg, but oh. I can tell you now it's Canadian Bacon. That came out after this. Really? So, Canadian yeah. Bacon came after this? Yeah, so he filmed that, then filmed this, and for some reason, this one took less, I guess, not for some reason, <laughs> understandably, took less time to edit, I suppose, okay. or, and, and, and released before Canadian Bacon. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yep. From my brain, as a like Canadian Bacon is it's like... older than that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, it is directed by Peter Markle. He did, uh, he's known for a lot of TV movies, but he did, uh, uh, Bat 21, Flight 93, which is a TV movie and mm. Youngblood. Okay. Uh, written by Matthew Carlson. Uh, this is his only film credit, but he is known for a lot of TV shows like the Wonder Years, Malcolm in the Middle and Alexa and Katie. Things I like that. He's got some chumps. He's got some chumps. I mean, he was like a producer and writer on those. So he's no slouch. Okay. But it's just, this is his only film okay. writing credit. I mean, you know, it's not everyone wants to work in film. Yeah. No. The, the, he's like, Meh, and he probably dipped his toes like, you know what? Don't need to be not there. Not worth it. Not, not worth, worth it. it. So yes, John Candy as James Harlan. No, no. Talk about IMDb's. Okay, yeah. Let's talk about IMDb. Let's talk about IMDb yeah, for a second. Yeah, because I was like, I chose the top three people for based on what I think is screen time mm -hmm. and character. IMDb did not want that. No, no. IMDb rightfully put John Candy atop. Yeah, but then. Who is second billing yeah. in IMDb's opinion? What, would you think it's like, oh, maybe it's the bad guy. Maybe it's this famous person. No, yeah. it's River Townsman, who's Joe Bays. He has like <laughs> a line. It's like, okay, well, how about the third person? It's like, oh, no, that's Abe Ferguson. I, it's one of the Ferguson brothers, I guess. It's like, okay, well, about fourth? It's like, no, no, no. For nope, some nope, it's like, unknown know. reason, and we cannot figure out how they categorize it. They just put... The most random actors. Yeah, it's not in order of appearance. It's nope. not alphabetical. Nope. It's not you know, popularity or you it's know, just, price. It's just, you hey, know, you know what? We're just going to throw a whole bunch of names into a mixer and see what happens. See, now I think that like the person like who plays River Ford guy yeah. was the person who was in charge of this. And he wanted to be second billing. And yeah. so he like, like no, upvote the River yeah, guy. So I have no idea how IMDb did yeah. this. So I ignored so it completely. We are yeah. going to put this yeah. in order of what we think and yeah, so and then, john candy john candy and then uh second bell and i did richard lewis who's oh, phil I taylor to play john candy game oh sorry yeah, yeah i did not tell you who yeah so died while filming uh also he didn't want to do this movie really but he was under contract so it's also ow. adds a little ow 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 but you know whatever so yeah. do yeah you could do the john candy i would say john candy would be known for planes trains and automobiles Ooh, that's one I would say Uncle Buck. Yep, we've done that one. We've Sorry, done that everyone. One. And I, Home Alone. Spaceballs was the third one. Oh, yeah. No, I'd give it over Home Alone. Yeah, because he's he's a smaller part in Home yeah, Alone. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Spaceballs. Yeah, uh, I might have done Stripes or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, 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 that would work. But um, uh, Richard Lewis plays Phil Taylor. Mm -hmm. uh, he's known for Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Mm -hmm. Leaving Las Vegas and the TV show Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. I chose, you, you could choose a whole bunch, but I thought Robert Picardo was probably our best uh, choice yeah, no, for third billing. Yeah, he's the second. He, he plays uh, Ben Wheeler. Uh, he's known for playing the doctor on Voyager, uh, another different doctor on China Beach, um, Inner Space, the movie, and for you know, personal reasons, Explorers, the movie. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. No, I yeah no I think it uh, that is a good top billing. Yeah, I mean, th th there's you know, there's I could have gone with the, one of the mini antagonists of this film or one of the ladies, but, no, but you know what? Let's just screen go with, time. This is screen time. And again, IMDb was no help whatsoever no. to you know decide which tie to go with. So uh, this movie, I'll do the synopsis. Uh, in the 1860s Wild West, a ragged bunch of misfit settlers decides they cannot stand living in their current situation, and they hire a grizzled cowboy to take them on a journey back east to their hometowns. Mm-hmm. I well, what I would call them misfits. I was gonna say a, I would call them misfits. I'd say they're more whiners. Whiners or, are just like normal people, just like just, you know, your average Joes, and or you know, like and, you know, like I, I think the, the when we get to the bartenders, I was like, no, you you guys are namby pamby Easter piece. Yeah, we don't we don't want you out here. We don't want you yeah, out yeah, here. But you know, we get the Western music over a map of mm -hmm. you know prosperity, New Mexico, but we're not supposed to know it's New Mexico because later on they say prosperity somewhere out west, but it's like. 
on the map, that's a New Mexico. It just it literally that was the New Mexico territory. You yeah. you showed me on the map, but but yeah, no, there's like the sales per, uh, yeah. pitch versus reality, and yeah. you get a nice introduction of the the cast of characters. Yes, uh, I mean we get visual jokes of hey, the population sixty seven, and then the bank gets robbed. It's like now sixty three is like ah, yeah. There's a bank robbery. There's you know a banker. And yep. you know, everyone's going to end up at the saloon where everyone knows your pain. Yes. Yeah. You know, and it's like everyone gets whiskey. There's no, you know, that's the joke of everyone wants something else. Yes. They, everyone like, wants, wants something, something fancier. Better. You know. um, we go to the bookseller who has done, uh, who's Julian played by John C. McGinley. And I'm going to, I'm going to yeah. plug my, my bias here is John C. McGinley, oh, yeah. who is known for playing uh, Dr. Cox in Scrubs. Scrubs. Yeah. He's also in lots, lots and lots, lots of movies. Of movies. He's, yeah, he's, no. he's got a repertoire. Yeah. Uh, he steals every scene he's, he's a, in. Yeah. Uh, he plays a, an eccentric bookseller. Eccentric. He, he's he's kind of skirting that line of uh, stereotypical gay man. But, yeah, he, but he, doesn't, he does it so well that he's like, he's on the good side of, I can see what you're doing, but you are not going so far. He didn't to being do any like deep tropes yeah, yeah. of the early nineties. Yeah, his, he doesn't have a terrible lisp. He no. doesn't have you know, any... no. He doesn't have any su- you know super mannerisms yeah. that I think the early nineties were trying to portray. But yeah. he steals every scene. Yes. Um, he he's selling a book. Yes, Pride and Prejudice. You know, to a person who just wants it for toilet paper, and yeah. I I I, yeah. I appreciate just all the lines. Yes. No. The. The, you know, just what, what, what's it just for the pride? It's like, you hate to break up the, the set. set. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it works. You know, there's, uh, we get another one of, uh, a woman, the mail order bride, the mail order bride. And she now realizes she's basically been sold to a whole family instead of one person, though her contract is with one person. Yeah. But that is the ongoing joke of the whole Ferguson clan has to go away before she could be free. Yep. Uh, you get um, a rancher, you know, played, uh, by Richard Lewis, Marissa, who's Phil. He's a coward. Yeah. He, you know, he, that's his, that's his shtick. Yeah. He's like, it's like, yeah, he's like, oh, I found my Russell Cowles. Like, oh, we can, we can solve this. Like, man, it's like, why do we have to do it this way? And the, the joke of like the man doesn't know how to count. Yeah. You know? No, I mean, there, there's yeah. a lot of like, um, yuck, yuck jokes yeah, in here. Yeah. I, I would say like this film straddles between like what the nineties comedies will turn into like the something about Mary's yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And the old eighties, um, shticks, you know, where it's like a lot of, um, slapstick and one offs. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's in between this phase where it's like, it's not quite. Like yeah. And as, and I, I kind of view it as like, as this movie goes on, they get sillier. They do. They definitely yeah. like drop the, we're trying to be a serious, well, we're not like, even a serious, we're, like, but we're not like, going to like try. The idea is like, we're going to do a parody of a Western wagon train, but instead of going West, we're going East. That was right. the idea. But then it's like, we're going to get sillier. We're as we go in whereas and, I'd say like, um, the movie city slickers, which I yeah. think is, Around earlier time, than yeah, this yeah. Or, but yeah. at the same time does a better yeah. job of if you want to just do a straight up like making fun of uh, westerns, westerns yeah but in a better way that'd yeah. be it but basically all the ta- you know all these people uh, are saying like listen it sucks out here we want to go back uh, you know, east uh, you know everyone's like actually starting to think about it and then the joke is like well we need a sign from god yeah. you know you get, like, the, you get the three things it's like oh it's a rain it's like it's just rain mm-hmm. it's yeah, like there, it's just wind. wind and then the the weather vane comes in and stabs the bartender and, and points he's like that made me laugh that's a sign that, and, that made and, me and laugh. then we and get then, the intro of john candy yep harlow Har- harlow a passing out drunk mm-hmm. and you know, you know his his thing is like you know he is a drunk and he doesn't yeah. trust maps that, yeah. that's kind of like his well, thing in the beginning. And I, and I also enjoy uh, this moment of him, you know, describing the route using pots and pans. Yes. And it's like, oh, I, was, I don't know where he is. And then he spills the tea. It's like, oh, you know, uh, the the Platte River, I know where I am. It's like, and here's this, this the Pawnee Nation. No, that ain't the Pawnee Nation. They ain't that unified. They're more like this muffin tin. It's like, mm-hmm. for some reason, that makes me giggle every yeah. time. No, no, no. I mean, like, there's some good hidden yeah. gems in there. And, and I did say, you know, that, that he didn't want to do this movie, but this uh, little speech he gives at the end where he says, like, he, you know where he's pleading to them it's like i i know what i look like but i know this I land know. that's acted really well i well, mean he's he's like he might not want to do it but he's he's once he's 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 a professional no I, and I, this this kind of struck me and i was like i'm, yeah. I'm not up on my john candy yeah. repertoire but it's like of all the john candy films yeah for better or worse i was like i feel like this gives him the most range than any other yeah. film has kind of given him in the past because he's usually he, yeah, you he, know the bubbly happy you know like the uncle buck yeah, the you well, know in Spaceballs, it's very much he has an archetype that he usually yeah. plays like this one 
branches out a little further than he usually gets. Yeah, whereas like with Uncle Buck and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, he, he's it's always happy. Character. And then the story will show you that he's been hiding a hidden pain, but you right. don't actually get him to say it. Yeah. Right. He doesn't get to be yeah. gruff. Or yeah. He, you know, this one, like whether or not that's yeah, true, yeah, is like, yeah. I feel like this one gives him a, like he gets to be... Yeah. You know, a little more dodge, you know, downtrodden, yeah. a little more. Yeah, and we get a you know, an establishment that he doesn't eat meat. So, yes, I mean but, it's it's a throwaway. Yeah, but but yeah, but now the the, uh, the we leave the a wagon. <laughs> Not noonish. No, you know, noonish just like, well, I, was like, I was like, yeah, you gotta leave it noonish. Not everyone's packed. I mean, they just decided to leave like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, you get yeah. the the wagon trains ready, and yeah. you get the the movie title. It's yeah, wagons east. east. Yeah. So but yeah, no. Um, you get now to the antagonist, which is yeah. you know a J.P. Morgan as yeah. robber baron, yeah, the, saying the, like, hey, our money is tied up with people going west, and if people don't populate these centers the government's not going to give us money for the trains yeah because they're the train barons and you know and you get the, the you know they get you know notice that like there's these people leaving and, and they're blowing it off they're but, blowing it but off the main guy who uh we we've seen in like earnest movies and other things is like he, he's concerned yes he's yeah. concerned so yeah. that's the, yeah that, that's the, the the overarching antagonist yeah but, but you, know. you know back to a yeah. To the train, you know, they're talking about like, no, America's based on quitters, which is a cute yeah, yeah. one-liner. Yeah, um, um, you, English quitters, French quitters. French quitters, <laughs> German quitters. Yeah. You get uh, Zeke who says, Harlow has a MacGuffin. Yeah, so, some hidden path. Some, something is wrong. But you know, Zeke and, can't remember a dang thing. Yeah, that's his I, running joke. That's the running joke. Yeah. Um, and you get, yeah, Harlow has a crush. You uh, know, he likes... On, on Miss Bell, who we... Is the harlot. Is the harlot also known as Audrey from Little Shop of Horrors? That's, That's true. Because it's like, you hear her, it's like, you I know hear this her voice. voice and and yeah, go, not be like, like, wait, I know that voice. <laughs> yeah. You know, you you do get a few slapsticks, which is, yeah. like I said, hearkening back to the 80s yeah. of him getting smacked off his horse when trying to rescue the dolly. Yeah. And then we get, you know, people are joining. The, they start with five wagons. They have the, more. They get a little bit more. Yep. The J.P. Morgan uh, character. Yeah. Isn't thing he's going to hire a, a hitman, you know, a hitman to basically sign. And that's John Slade, Slade, yeah, who we're going to call the cartoon fixer. Yeah, this is, I call him the Wiley e. Coyote of this yeah. movie. But I no. mean, he has cool glasses. Oh, this, yeah, this, fun this, sunglasses. This comes back to our quick and the dead thing. Yeah. Like, those glasses are They're cool. Awesome. I can't pull them off, but they look cool. But he killed someone trying to go to Denver, and I don't like that. You don't <laughs> shoot the messenger, but yeah, so I mean, that is the set. He is going to be, yeah. A thorn. Yeah, he, he, there, there, there's a lot of you know roadblocks. He's the first one, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we get a quick scene of a fork in the road. road He's asleep. Tr- he oh, chose the wrong, the wrong one. way. Did Always it, talking to you. And then we get the Ferguson fart jokes because it's that type of movie. You know, the Fergusons are lying there, farts of fire. Yeah, and you get but, to find out that like, um, what's her name is in a wedding contract. Yeah, yeah. she needs to somehow get out of her contract. Yeah. That's so the, her running game. So like the first Ferguson gets shot in the head and is too dumb to die kind yeah. of thing. He's like, but you know, Slade empties the water. Yep. That's his first, first attempt, attempt to, to stop him is the water damage. Yeah. And then I love like, uh, uh, Harlow's like, Oh no, the sweet water's right over there. Mm-hmm. Everyone runs. It's like uh, the, the, the creek's dried up. Unless if you look a little further, if, if, just, if you just, just stepped a little one fr- step further, I, you, yeah. I mean, it's, because it's a comedy, yeah. I like, I love, but it's like, like if you just, if you look, just, just look. go a little further. But yeah, no, I mean, it's like, it, you know. yeah. And then we get another Ferguson diving yeah, head first, first in the water. Yeah, yeah so it's like mean, a Ferguson death. Uh, but then I got like, we get the fording of the river. And if anyone's played Oregon Trail, this, you know, this whole movie should, you know, uh, tickle you because like not only could you choose to be the banker, the farmer, yeah. the harvest, but it's like now you have to ford the river. But it's like they're going east. It's logical. It's like. Yeah, you, you you struggled, but we built a bridge, bridge. like <laughs> years ago. Years ago, because we got tired of fording the river. This is the, like one of those things. Like, this should get easier as your journey gets uh, goes on, whereas you know normal ones it'll get harder. It's like nope. And there there was the river guy. Yeah, your second there, billing right there. There was your river guy. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, they the. Yeah, yeah, we get some throwaway scenes of JP saying we need to stop this uh, yeah. wagon train. How do I look? Yo, yeah, fat, fat, fat with money. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a fat joke. We yeah. get a kids and car joke, which goes on a, a yeah, bit, but, but, but you know, no. and that turns into a pee joke yeah. later. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing any parent no, can no, no. relate to this. It, it 100 is still the same. You yeah. know, 30 years, 20 years, years later, kids are like, annoying no matter when. Yeah, you're going to be in the car and they're not going to get along. And then and we get has a, to go pee. And then we get a gross up pee joke of the boy needs to go and he's got to pee in the canteen and then 
later on he's got poured out someone drinks like yeah, oh, whatever. Gross out humor. I, was, I, I was at half expecting one of the fergusons to die from that like yeah. you know dysentery yeah. or something yeah. but um we get another map argument there's still mcguffin talk about no no no, no. The, Har- harla the, doesn't like there, things there's a dark past there you know we yeah. need we need to talk it out so, and so yeah, you have this like men's group yeah the men's group of the you know, before we you know what w- what what trouble pass, you know? Yeah, which Taylor says like the know, only thing that comes out of this is that you find out that Phil was a surgeon, surgeon and who, can't, be who one can't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, you also get a moment in the ladies group where you know they're they're gossiping about the harlot, and then they're like, like, no, no, they want they want sex talk, they yeah. want advice. Both both store both men's group and women's group have a BJ joke, you yep. know, you know, it's just it's just just, just what you got to do with these do. kind of comedies. <laughs> yeah. Um, they then come to the Sioux territory. Which, as westerns go, this ages poorly, but it doesn't age. No, I get bad. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, it's uh, it's very similar to I guess other uh, w- uh western comedies. You know, even like uh, Cannibal the Musical, where it's like you're not falling into the stereotypes of the yeah. Native I mean, there's Americans, a there's a little bit, a bit of, of savageness, savageness but, but it's like, but it it you know. It yeah. doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I have to laugh. It's like, like, well, we're all gonna take off our shoes, and you know, John Smith like, but, but, but I have some moccasins for. Can the you summer. can wear moccasins, and uh, that's the one that stays. I was like, why'd you let him camp in our, you know, in our, our village? Yeah. Like, well, he's, he's wearing, wearing moccasins. moccasins. Like, it's like, oh, oh. like you're you're not on Sentry, dude. But yeah, but basically, it it sets up that the the Sioux are going to escort them out because, like, no, no, the more of them that leave, leave the, the better, better it is for us. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, that actually works as a concept. Yeah. And then, um, and I have to say, any scene with the two natives that join them yeah. are hilarious. No, no, the way they act, because it's, it's almost like, like they're they're not taking this seriously. seriously. Yeah. But I mean, another Ferguson gets killed because he was tied up yeah. amongst the horses. Yeah, he gets drawn and quartered. Yeah, yeah. so that's, you know, another Ferguson yeah, for, you know, bites count, the count, dust. Counter Ferguson's, they're going down, you yeah. um, know. You know, we get another montage of more people leaving. Yeah. We get Slade's second tip, which is now fully yeah. into Wile Coyote, now, Wile yeah. Coyote territory of we're going to... Make a landslide happen and it doesn't work, and yep. then he gets crushed by the rocks. And you know, gets his his arms are twisted in wrong yeah. direction. Yep. What? Yeah. Zaniness ensued. And so uh, the J.P. Morgan character, you know, uh, has, has his a model bat- train, very similar to Spaceballs with the toys playing. Yeah. But he's like he he decides to send a second group to stop them, and this is what I call the ruffian group. Yeah. Which this does joke not- does not work for me. No, no. It did not work as a kid because. It, I'm gonna just jump to the end. I'm gonna do their whole, their yeah, whole yeah, show because no, it's for the cause rest it's of the stupid. movie because it's stupid. It's a blink and you miss it when they pass each other in the dark. Okay, I, I, didn't, mean, see, I, I didn't even see it. I, I didn't even see it this time, but I remember seeing it, it's like there's one time where they do actually pass each other, like the, the wagon trains below them and they're on a upper. Wow, I must have missed that again. I mean, I think so, but it's like it is so bad that they're they're on the this beat to track them down and then they just ride past and then they just ride to the Pacific Ocean. This is a stupid joke. Yeah. No, I don't like this one at all. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, it's it's just I think to pad the movie yeah, out. Yeah, to say that there was another part problem, but you know. But yeah, but but we get to River Washing Day. River Washing Day makes yeah. everyone randy. Yes. <laughs> you know Well it's the halfway party. It is. It's the it, I mean yeah. it, it has, you know, John C. McGinley in the river, river. with um a not Gary Busey. Not Gary Rose or uh, I said it was like John Elway, but yeah. But yeah, but yeah. But it's like it's like Yeah. You know, everyone's it, getting laid. Everyone's getting but, you know, but then Zeke pre- interrupts and it's like, oh, Harlow was the wagon train leader for the Donner Party. Yeah, that's and if anyone need the Donner Party was a wagon train going west that got stuck in the Sierra Nevadas and got stuck in a snowstorm and very few people made it out and the ones that made it out had to eat the, the other others, people. Yeah. That's the history. Yeah. Of the so Donner we Party. started the season with Cannibal the Musical. We're ending the season with Wagons East. Donner parties all the way right. around, you know. So but yeah, but that's the is that he was part of it and you know, they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep this information to ourselves. We're, yeah. we're gonna be okay. Yeah. Uh, then because- random snow. And the, in June, oh, random but stuff. the fact is like okay if they left from like new mexico and they're trying to get to st louis and they're halfway there it's like random snow in the colorado kansas area is not, not unheard of unheard of so it's like it's not out of the realm of possibility, possibility yeah. all this does is to set up some cannibal jokes and, uh, and then they kill a they cow. kill a cow that that one the ferguson loves you yes know? Yeah, so we can now get to Slade's third attempt, uh, yeah, which is pulling up the, mo- the bridge, another wily coyote, and he gets blown up and then lands on a you know, uh, a cactus on the crotch because crotch jokes, crotch it's that jokes, type of movie. Yeah. And he's like, he's gonna do the direct approach, yeah, which 
I'm gonna say it's like this probably is my favorite scene. Mm-hmm. Of the movie. It's the one that I remember the most is of the shootout between Julian, Julian and Slade. Well, and I also love that they make Julian, who has been slightly this effeminate gay man, mm-hmm. he's the badass that you know saves the the group. Oh yeah, yeah and and it's it, like that going against the trope a hundred percent. But yeah. it's like. I love it, and he do- he plays it perfectly. No, I mean it's like it comes back to like what well, he says, like John yeah. C. McGinley. Yeah, he does uh, his roles. He, he's, he plays he's, his roles very well. Whatever he he's in, he's in a hundred percent. Yeah, but it, I for the and this is one of the things I'll admit. Yeah. Like, I've noticed for the first time that he shoots a heart. A heart. Oh, you never noticed that. That's why I he says Happy Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, I mean it's, like, it's like it never bothered me that yeah. he says Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's, no, like, well, it's, a, it's a heart shaped wound. Yeah, it's a, it was like okay, that you know, yeah. You know, yeah. credit where credit's like, I didn't notice it the first time. I yeah. just noticed now. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, more montage of traveling, more yeah. people joining, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. The JP is going to call in the literal like, cavalry. I do like this joke of, it's like, I'm going to call in the cavalry. It's like, oh, what's that, sir? It's like, well, you know, they're, they're, they ride a horse's sabers. It's, it's the, an don't you know joke. the U.S. cavalry? So it's it's like, oh, I thought you were talking metaphorically, but I, I, yeah. It's like, it was like, that, you know, as the joke goes, that that's one of the better ones. You know. Yep, you get uh, there's dissent in the party. They call out Harlow on his uh, past, that's, and he leaves. Yeah. Um, military the, shows up. The military shows up. Another joke that I didn't get this time <laughs> is that the lieutenant does know Julian from yeah. their past. They're like, oh, it's nice to see you again. Or is uh, or is like, hey, lieutenant. I don't know if they know each other. No, but no, no, because or, the lieutenant says like, it's good to see you again. Because uh, he's not talking to Julian. I think he is. He is not. Oh, is he talking to the natives? He's taking, talking oh. to the natives. So I guess that could be taken. So Julian's flirting with him. Yeah. And he's not getting it. Whereas, like, oh, nice to see you again. It's like where he's saying, you know, you're nor- if you don't listen to us, you know, you're normal you're asking- Cal- Calvary Massacre, you can ask them. Yeah, it's like, it's That's like, why he says he's good to see you again. Oh, I, yeah. I, I took it as he's yeah. like, oh, he's talking. But yeah. either way. Either way. You know, there's a 24-hour joke. Yeah. Uh, the third Ferguson gets yeah, shot. Fourth Ferguson, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Fourth yes. Ferguson gets shot. I get surgery. He uh, dies, but <laughs> yeah, Phil's back in the saddle. But yeah. you know, uh, the surgery show. He got the bullet, but you know, he saved his uh, his, yeah. his, 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 his you know, tobacco. Yep. And then we get another uh, villain, the general, who's yeah. the antagonist who has hi- history with Harlow. And Very this, forthcoming with his confessions. Confessions, and also you know, saying like he stole all their supplies. That's why they starved. Yeah. It's like none of this is true to the daughter part, by the no, way. No, but, but that's okay. But that's okay. But it's like. This this is where it's like it keeps getting sillier. We got the Wiley e. Coyote. Now we got like a general with a teddy bear who's so stupid. It's like I mean, we are getting into Mel Brooks, Brooks levels level, of you but know, not yuck, not yuck, not yuck, as yuck. clever, but yeah. You know. uh, the wagon train meets the cavalry. They they square the, the wagons. Wagons, because why not? It's a good visual joke. I mean, I I mean do, real, realistically, that gives you uh, areas where they can sneak up on you and you don't have bullet cover, but it's still funny. I, I do like the two natives. Like, oh, yeah. well, this is what it's like. I was like, really nice. Like, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, no, that's what it's like. Whenever it's just, you know, them saying something, it's like, this is hilarious. I, I love mean, these two I, guys. It's like, I almost want to say, like, they weren't acting. They were just literally <laughs> just like, like, what would we say so, if we were <laughs> here? Yeah. Um, Harlow comes back because I he, mean, you, well, first you get you get a weird flashback. Yes, it's like it. That joke doesn't work for me because like you're literally showing things that I saw like five minutes ago. Well, so the, and I, I know what they're trying to do. The, 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 and I have to say, as a kid, I fell for it. Okay. So whereas like it's everyone's greatest moment on the trip. Yeah. And it's like, and I remember when we watched it, I said, "Oh, Julian's going to be the one shooting," and you went, "No, it's not." And then it goes to the river, and it's like, uh, uh. Oh, because I wasn't old enough for <laughs> that. But the you were, but, and then it's like uh, Zeke doesn't have any. Zeke memory. has no memory, so it's like it, it's uh, it's a long lead up for misdirection and then no payoff kind yeah. of thing. But but yeah, the cavalry comes. the The general gets his big horn. Yeah, I want the tuba, my, yeah. my sousaphone. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, Harlow comes back, and we get a really long um, fisticuff scene and this is uh one of the ones that uh is was done uh using stand-ins because john candy had already died so okay. so if you're wondering like why are we only seeing harlow from the back or all you know why are they cutting away to other people yeah he th- this was one of the ones that was going to be filmed coverage they had already gotten his end and his close-up so yeah. this is this is stand-ins and, okay and cutaways i mean but, it didn't bug me because like well maybe john candy doesn't want to, to do this. I mean, they, they got a decent stand. It is the joke of the fight just goes way uh, too long. And I mean, but I mean, but in the movie, yeah. it goes on way too, like three, four minutes. Yeah. of this movie is it's, to this scene, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I but mean, yeah. it's showing like, oh, we can we can have a badminton match. We can have no. You know, I know it is, is like I mean, like I said, this is the Mel Brooks comedy yeah. popping up. Like where you're like, there are several different movies, and like I said, as we get further, yeah. it gets east, sillier, it gets yeah. sillier. Yeah. The wagon train, uh, well, Harlow wins. Yes. 
yeah. you know, he, uh, the wagon train goes past the press and everyone's yeah. like, oh, and yeah, you know, they're, they're all saying goodbye. It's like Harlow still hadn't been paid. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of final yeah. farewells. Yeah, the, of like, the final Ferguson gets squished, which he's the, the one who actually had the contract. So it's the what? most important. I feel like there's one Ferguson missing, the, the caveman looking guy. Oh, the one when with the umbrella, he, yeah. yeah. What, it's like, because he crossed the, the bridge. Yeah. Because that's always He's the, the one. Because yeah. like, he looks like the Geico uh, the caveman, caveman or like, a lurch. Yeah. Where did he go? That's a good question. I'm like, maybe he crossed the, the river and went, you know what? I don't want to be. It's yeah. like, but it's like, he never got killed. But yeah, the, the one that actually signed the contract died. So that's the most important yeah, one. Yeah. And so know. that, that yeah. you know. Julian yeah. decides to go back and head to, to San, San Francisco. Francisco. That's, <laughs> that's that's like the biggest kind of you know, wink and nod. nod. Uh, Harlow and Bell say well, they're going to go up to Canada. It's like, it's like, well, why don't we do it again? It's like, no, no. It's like, well, we can go to Canada where it's warm all the time, and that's you know where it's like it's a wink. It's a nice joke for the movie, but it's also hey, his next movie is Canadian Bacon. So yep. <laughs> and why not? you know they all they all end up in uh, St. Louis. St. Louis, you know, and um, you know why not? Uh yeah, the 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 bad the bad guy, the JP Martin, gets run over by oh, right, the, right. by by the the land grab, and they're saying, should we stop? I was like, hey, it might work out for them. It just yeah. doesn't work out for which us. Which is, I mean, it reminds yeah. me of um Far and Away, yes. which is that's the end of that movie. Is yeah. they all go and claim and their, their land. Spot. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it is kind of a you know playing yeah. off the tropes. Yeah, and I mean. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and then you know the 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 natives say it's like, hey, if I ever see you, you again, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'm not kidding. It's like, but maybe I. Am. It's like, I still love those guys. Yeah, they're, they're, but, good. they're really good actors. Yeah. I mean, it's not a good no, movie. No, it is but still the, a bad the movie. Actors in it really do put a hundred percent. You know, mm. John Candy, John C. McGinley, yeah, Ethan yeah. Phillips, all of them. You know, they are Robert all Picardo, They're all doing, doing a really good job. It's just like, yeah, I've seen better Western comedy. Oh no, Blazing Saddles, and you know. Uh, there probably a thousand dies of West is probably funnier. I don't know. I haven't seen that, but but no. I mean, it yeah, it yeah. is. I mean, it's fun to see John Candy in something so no different. very different than his normal role. Yeah, and and, it, and it's like uh, it started. I was wondering if there was a trend of like famous actors being in bad westerns as their final film because like uh, james stewart was in five goes west that's his final film no, and, and there's um, like uh chris farley is it really a western but it's a frontier it's a frontier you know, where, where they're the, doing like a lewis and clark, clark thing. it's like it's like just maybe avoid western if you're a comedian an overweight comedian uh, don't, like, don't go for a western don't go for the westerns you know but, but i mean it's like it's worth it's not long. It's not long. I think it's chuckle worthy. Yo, um, I know everyone yeah. who heard us say Uncle Buck was bad and we're giving this one praise is like, God, I, you guys are no, wrong. No, no, no. It's like, and I, I, I totally I, accept. I 100% accept that we are wrong. No, no, no. It's like, <laughs> this is being propped up by nostalgia, nostalgia, which I know a lot of people say like, listen, I loved Uncle Buck okay. for the same reasons. No, no. It is exactly no, the same right. things. Like we just didn't have and, the nostalgia and, factor. For and Uncle and Buck. my film, you know, critic filmmaker is mine is like, yeah, I can honestly say that that was a better made film better oh, no. story but it's like yeah i just prefer this one <laughs> this one just it it's yeah. it's like i said it's i got more chuckles i got out more of chuckles it. Out I, of I mean it. i think yeah. it's just because the there's a, and there's also it's like looking back on it, it's like there's a lot of characters that we mm. have familiar with. there's a lot of star trek characters yeah. you have uh, yeah uh, robert picardo and he's the doctor Phil and you also yeah. have neelix ethan phillips who is the other assistant to jp morgan and yeah the, is you know so he's like yeah. you do get people like oh i like that yeah. guy. oh i like that guy. guy so i mean yeah, yeah. It, you know, I'm going to call my bias out on it. Yes. Why am I biased? That's, that, why. that's why. Yeah. But yeah, it's just these people who don't want to be on the West. They just want to, you know, be ex Westerners, just ex men out of there. You know, that, I did not know how to trans. Yeah. You know, and I was all, mm, mm, I don't want to do X Men too, but I'm well, going to do X Men too. And, you know, I, I was worried because I've been using like the X Men to proc prop up our X category in the alphabet. I was like, it's like, are we ruining our, uh, our, our, our own rules of using taglines? But no, this is a stupidly titled movie. Cause if we go off of the non subtitle, it's X two. So that still follows X men. Yeah. But if yeah. we use the subtitle, it's still X two X men. The last, you know. oh. <laughs> so it's like, it still follows it's X men, like, X men, it's X squared. X yeah. X squared. It's like, that's what the two is like. So yeah. Uh, watch that one. It might not be as bad as you remember. But I feel it's, like it's going to be as bad as I remember. But, but I mean, like, I think it's better than the first one, as I recall. But, it's possible. But, but, listen, I like uh, their, the, when they yeah, do their Days next, of Future Past. Days of Future yeah. Past and like First Class. That's where I'm happier. But, but yeah. So uh, if you watch Wagons East, yeah, you, you've, there, you, not, you've seen John Candy's last film. Filmed film. Film filmed. <laughs> film, yeah, film. Film film film. But uh And if not, then you can watch X2, you know. Yeah. Noah's happy place of doom. Yeah, happy place of doom. And uh we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.
You just relied on your looks. You never tried to get skills, did you? <laughs> I'll just deal with my looks. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone, no. They're gone. What, what was there is now <laughs> flabby <laughs> and gray. Not like like a bad... <laughs> Like no, a, I want some Scrapple now. <laughs> like, a bowl of gray. Gray. like a bowl of Scrapple. Scrapple is delicious. No, it is not. It is.